The University of Victoria has uncovered some compelling art from the First World War. For decades, the sketches gathered dust in the university's archives, and the curators have been trying to figure out who the artist is. Kylie Stanton reports. Well, here we have the two volumes of the JM Diary. Carefully rolled out of storage to be put on display. This is the title page. On it, a dedication filled with clues. To my daughter Adele, and then we have these initials of JM. It's the key to unlocking the mystery behind these books and the art inside, now nearly a century old. What we have here is very much the experiences of somebody who was involved in the trench warfare in uh, France and Belgium. And as a result, we have an extraordinary record here uh, in a range of uh, watercolors and pen and ink drawings that cover a huge range of subjects. Every page tells another story about the people, places, even the animals involved in the conflict. This is one of the uh, most uh, moving images. It's entitled Gas in the Lines. The art has been in the possession of the university's special collections and archives for more than three decades. But there are no purchase or donation papers to go along with it. A search of military records have turned up nothing. We've had no luck. But there's hope the war's centennial will help spark new leads and a potential Canadian connection. Maybe someone will come forward and, and identify this as belonging originally to a member of their family. With those who fought no longer alive, the experience is only passed down through what they left behind. He often actually gives us, even as you can see, the street number. In this case, an uncensored account of the front lines. This is what I think makes this so valuable because we have such a sort of human response to this um, appalling set of events. It's worthy of an exhibition, open to the public next month. But until someone is able to link the initials with the artist, the mystery continues. Kylie Stanton, Global News, Victoria.